Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this fun and easy bird tunnel toy. If you guys are interested in how I set up Kiwi's cage, I will have part one and part two of her cage setup tour down below. What you need for this DIY is a three inch PVC pipe, mine's around nine and a half inches, a drill, a quarter inch drill bit, two washers, two machine screws or bolts, and two wing nuts to match. A few small leather washers. You also want a variety of toys, beads, wooden blocks, dyed coffee filters. Let's get started. You're going to need your PVC pipe and some kind of measuring tool. I just like to use it so I can make my holes as even as possible, especially the ones that connect the tunnel to your cage. And you also want to take into account the spacing between your bars on your cage just so that you make sure that one of the holes isn't in a space and the other one's on a bar. If you're not going to measure them out, you're just going to freehand it, which is perfectly fine. You don't have to, you can skip this part, but I did not film the part where I drilled these two holes, but later on in the video, I do show you drilling the holes to add the toys to it. Okay, like I said before, I didn't show how I drilled these two holes, but there they are. And now you're going to need your metal washers, your two wing nuts, and your two machine screws or bolts. You're also going to need your four leather washers. You want to go ahead and stick your machine screws into your small leather washers like this. And if you need to, depending on what size um, machine screws you're going to use, you can just use your drill and the drill bit to make the holes bigger. And you want to stick both of these items from the inside out. For to see your screw, you want to go ahead and put your metal washers on. These are optional. You don't have to have them, but they're an option. And your leather washers like this and the leather washers are more so to protect your cage from the um, tunnel itself and the final step is going ahead and putting your wing nut on these are the two sides that are obviously going to be touching the cage and this is how you're going to keep the tunnel in the cage and safe for your birds Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but you want to make sure that all the metal that you're buying to put in your cage that your birds can have access to, you want it to be stainless steel just so they can't get any kind of infection or poison. The washers on the inside um, serve two purposes. One, they protect your bird from getting caught or from getting cut from the screws and they also serve as a toy. Some birds, I've noticed my bird loves leathers toys, so that's what those are there for. Now you wanna go ahead and make as many holes as you want. I'm gonna make six, two at the top, two in the middle, and two on the bottom. I'm not measuring these because I they don't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna try to make them as even as possible. And the way I do this, I just kind of grab a marker and I just, Put place two dots and look at them and see if they're kind of similar and if not you know just take it off and start over just to let you guys know how I did mine I did the two at the top and the two at the bottom further out and then the ones in the middle I did them closer together just so that she can have you know the different the toys when they hang they don't hit each other If you want, you can make all your holes at the same time. I just did mine separately. I'm not really sure why, but here's how I did them, and these are the same exact way I did the other ones. You want to start off slow and then kind of make it a little bit faster, but you want to make sure that you're not going to go if your drill bit is longer. Mine's not that long, but if you, you don't want to make it go all the way through to the other side.
Now you want to go ahead and grab all your different toys that you're going to use to hang off of your tunnel. I'm using, um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial within a tutorial on how to make these little block candies that I call them. Um, my bird Kiwi loves to bite off the tissue paper and it also saves the wooden block because birds do tend to tear those apart. But what you want to do is grab your, your coffee filters and your wooden blocks and you want to make sure that the holes are facing up and down and then you just want to wrap your wooden toy around the coffee filters. Then you just want to pinch the sides and twist them either direction, doesn't really matter, just to make them stay on the wooden block and kind of wrap around it. Coffee filters, I did dye them myself and if you guys would like a quick video on how I did that, just leave a comment down below and I will be happy to do that. So this is what the wooden candy block looks like. And now you just want to grab scissors or a pen and just make the hole so that you can string, you know, if you're using leather, paper, or cotton, um, string through it. Okay, so now I'm going to start assembling the actual tunnel. There is really no rhyme or reason. I didn't have this planned out. I just kind of winged it while I was filming. So you're going to see me, like, try to go back and forth. What I am using, though, is old um, kind string from an old toy that she had that she had kind of destroyed already. So you can always reuse and recycle bird toys, especially if there's a lot of parts to them. Some of the wooden pieces that I'm going to use to actually finish this tunnel are from an old toy, and I just took it apart and saved the pieces. Let's just place the kind string through the leather washer, and now I'm going to stick it from the inside out just like I did the, the first few. I did leave, as you can see, I did tie the knot a little bit further down and I left some of the con because Kiwi does like to play with that. But if you use, even if you're using leather string, that's awesome too. Birds love to bite and chew on those. Now I'm going to start assembling each of the different strings. I did mine the same. If the two top ones are the same, the two middle ones are the same, and the two bottom ones are the same. But that's completely up to you. You can make all six or as many holes as you're going to make. You can make them all different. I used a bunch of different toys that I got from different websites, from pet stores, from bird shows. But what you do want to make sure is that all of the stuff that you're using for your birds are bird safe. There's a lot of websites out there. There's a lot of forms that you can go to that will help you and tell you what is safe for your bird and what is not. Like I said earlier, I used this kind string from an old toy that she had, and as you can see, it's, it was coming like apart, like each different string was coming apart. So I just used a wooden kebab to kind of um, push the string through the little can, the wooden candy holes. Like I said before, I really had no plan for this, um, for each individual string either. So what I did was I just built it as, I just looked at them and played with them and stuff like that, stuff that she liked. And then when I was finished, I just made tied a knot and I left some of the con pieces, like the fraying part of it out, just because I do know that Kiwi does like that. But that's completely up to you on the look that you're going for. So this is what the first string looks like. And it just dangles off a little bit so she can actually move it and play with it. And I did the same exact thing on the other side. So for the sake of trying to make this video a little bit shorter, I did it off camera. But I am going to show you what they look like in a minute. I did want to make each set of two string toys a little bit different. So it did take me a minute to think of the different things that I wanted to put on each of the, I would call them rows. But like I said, you can put anything on this. You can use old wooden toys. You can use old plastic toys, recycled toys. It's pretty much whatever you find that your bird enjoys the most is what you want to place on these, especially if your bird's really shy or skittish. But you just want to repeat the same thing on all of six of them.
One of my favorite websites to get toy parts, bird parts is, it's called mysafebirdstore.com and they have really good prices and really good deals. They have a section of dollar deals where everything is a dollar and you can get six or seven items for a dollar and they're super cheap. You can also get stuff from Dr. Foster and Smith. Those are the two websites that I mostly order from. Amazon also has um, bird toy parts and you can order those as a package and they have like a 90 piece, 100 piece set that you can use. And they'll come with different wooden parts, different plastic parts. Um, you can use foot toys, like these little round things are foot toys. I mean, you can pretty much do whatever you want to them as long as you know that your bird likes it. I'll have Dr. Foster and Smith and MySafeBirdStore.com linked down below um, for easy access. Like I said, MySafeBirdStore.com has awesome deals. You can get 30% off days if you sign up with them with their emails. So there's a lot of chances to get um, discounted items on something that's already really well priced. Again, in order to try to make this video shorter, I just repeated the same thing on the other side, but I didn't film it. And this is what my middle section looks like. I have to start working on the bottom section. Again, I did the same thing. I'm just winging it. I don't have a rhyme or reason for this. I just have all my spare toy parts laid out next to me, and I'm just grabbing them and thinking of stuff as I go. Um, something else that's really good to use is um, they're like little, these little balls right here. The only thing is that I didn't realize that I couldn't stick the con ball, I'm sorry, the con string through the balls. It was kind of difficult, so I kind of left those out. But Kiwi loves those. She loves to shred them. She loves to play with them. But like I said, I had a really hard time trying to get the, the con string through them, so I kind of left them out. A few people have mentioned that they love Kiwi and that they, she's entertaining. So she did fly over to me while I was making this toy. So I just figured I would leave this footage in there. Um, you'll see that she'll start playing with them. But like I said in my last video about the pet carrier, and I, I'll link that down below if you're interested. She's not very skittish when it comes to stuff. So she started playing with this right away. And you'll see her start trying to play with it in a minute. quick tip on how to get your bird to not be so scared of new things is if you are making their toys maybe have them out with you while you're making them so they feel comfortable because you're there kind of as a they feel protected and they see that you're playing with it and messing with it and they will want to play with it too and here she's grabbing the toy she wasn't letting me finish but like I said she loves wooden toys she loves to tear, tear stuff apart This is the final product. This is what I ended up with for Kiwi's um, bird tunnel toy. But it's, you know, everyone's is going to come out different. You can put whatever kind of toys you want. You can put as many toys on there as you want. But this is just what I ended up with. Here's a quick video on how I tried or how I got Kiwi to actually go into her tunnel. As you can see, she's playing with it already. She's not really scared of it. But I wanted to let her know that she could go all the way through and play in the inside. So what I did, I just coaxed her with her favorite um, treat, which would happen to be safflower seeds. And as you can see, they worked awesome. Um, it did take her about two weeks to actually start playing on it and going through it on her own. But, I mean, it depends on each bird. Thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.